This is my X9DRD-EF Super Micro motherboard. It was made in 2012 and it's a dual socket motherboard. And you can see that it has um, two processor slots. But right now there's only one processor on it. But the board came with the two active heat sinks that you see here. And I wanted to make sure the board worked, so I slapped the one processor I had on it and didn't have any thermal paste. So what I'm going to do is run through some benchmarks without the thermal paste on this board and then go back and put some Arctic MX5 on it that I just got and we'll run the benchmarks again and see what kind of difference, if any, that the thermal paste actually made with this particular motherboard and cooler. That lovely noise that you hear is the active cooler that's on it and also the power supply and as you saw nothing about this is in a case yet. I have a Rosewill L4000 coming so uh, that'll be nice and I also got a new Cooler Master power supply with two EPS connectors that will be much more quiet than this bad boy is right now. But I just wanted to start working with what I have. I'm going to boot it into Windows first with Clover Boot, and you can see that once it gets to this part, the fans kind of slow down. It's not as obnoxious. But I just couldn't deal with this power supply being so loud. I would like this machine to be in the same room with me when I'm filming without having to worry about it too much. And I am not going to leave uh, Windows 10 on this thing. I'm actually going to either do like Unraid or Rockstore, probably Unraid. But for benchmarking purposes, why not use Windows 10? So that's what we're going to do now. Here's a quick look at the specs before we do the actual um, Cinebench test. And uh, I will be doing a longer form video about this whole build once I get all the parts in. This is just because we want to see really what the effect of thermal paste versus no thermal paste is is on a 10 core 20 thread processor from 2013. I'm not even going to bother with single threaded performance because I know that this particular chip is not a single thread powerhouse given its age and architecture. What I'm interested in is its multi core performance so that's what I'm going to do now. So here we go with no thermal paste. Oops, did I miss? No. It doesn't do too bad. The one run is finished, and I'm only going to do one run for each one of these. I know a lot of people would let it run for a while and then test it. But with no thermal paste, I was able to get 6,046 points in Cinebench R13. So now let's put the thermal paste on and then try it again. So I've got a brand new tube of uh, Arctic MX5. Uh, I lost my other tube. I have no idea where it went. And it came with a little um, smoother scraper tool. So that's pretty cool. Should have went corner to corner, and I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know about that. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, and we can see, or you can see rather, before I do anything here. I'll shield it with my hand, but it is a E52658V2. I've never actually used a scraper to flatten out my thermal paste, so it's going to be kind of a new experience for me. Let's see. Let's put the perfect amount of thermal paste. 
regardless of what I do, somebody in the comments is going to let me know that it was too much or too little or that I'm messy. Yada, yada, yada. So, it'll be fine. And we'll just spread it real nice. Or try to. Looks like I'll have to use a little more to get that coverage. Yes, a little bit more up there, and that should do. Oops. Oh yeah. I wonder if the fact that this stuff is blue makes it cool better. I don't know if using a spatula to flatten this out even matters. Somehow I don't think that it does. But it came with it, so why not? That'll do. that's in all of the sockets. If it's not, we'll fix it. All right, all done. Okay, we're back into windows and let's see if this thing does better with uh, the thermal paste. Six thousand sixty-four. Almost no change. <laughs> so, in this case, it appears that the thermal paste don't make much of a difference. Now, I would never ever run this for an extended period like this, but given the fact that this is just a hobby server, eh, it was worth it to see what we ended up with. But I wouldn't try this at home. <laughs> 